Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. The AFS Connect Farm Management System from Case IH connects you and only you to the information you need most from your equipment from anywhere at any time. AFS Connect only from Case IH. I recently got a question on the Ag PhD radio show from a farmer in North Carolina who wanted to know the best way to apply a small amount of certain micronutrients. I'll explain in today's Iron Talk. The good thing and the bad thing with micronutrients is you don't need much of them in order to have a successful crop. You don't need a whole lot of pounds, which is good from the cost side. However, you don't need many pounds, so how do you apply them evenly and accurately? First, how you don't apply them is in a blend with your dry NPK fertilizer in one big spreader. When I was first out of college, I met a farmer who was asking me about boron and alfalfa. I knew it was critical for him to have boron, but I had no idea what had already happened to him. He had purchased dry fertilizer from a nearby fertilizer dealer and had them pull a dry spreader out to his farm 10 miles away from their fertilizer plant. He had MAP and potash blended and asked the dealer to throw in some boron as well. The problem with that was that the density of each of the three fertilizer products was different, so as the spreader bounced down the road, all the boron settled out to the bottom. When they had begun spreading the fertilizer, all the boron for the whole field came out in the first hundred yards, killing his crop. He scraped up the top couple inches of soil in that area and spread that out over the whole field, and the problem went away. The lesson is simple, though. To spread something like boron that only involves a few pounds for a whole field, it's much better to do it in a liquid form, or if you're going to spread dry, spread it all by itself. That way you can be certain that you got it just right. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now, back to the show. <laughs> 